Hello and welcome to your weekend edition of CMY Weathertainment. I'm your host, Jeff Matthews. Make sure you spread the word about that. Also, join me. Free app, live stream. Download it from your app store on your cell phone. You download it. You follow Jeff Matthews. You get notifications of your live forecast at 555 every single evening. You don't need the TV remote anymore. Get rid of it. You got your weather live at 5.55 on live stream. What more could you want? Most accurate forecast you can find, educational and fun as well. Periscope at 6.05. Little weather, a lot of fun. Chaotic, hard to keep the monkeys under control in that room if you've ever been there. Kickstarter campaign. This is where I need you to help. Come on board. Help me take this whole new level. We're close to getting downtown space. It would give me unlimited space to be able to take this whole new level, including nationally. But there would be additions that would be coming to your local forecast as well. Things like more for kids locally, as well as more entertainment coming for CNY Weathertainment. A lot of good coming from this if we can get the downtown space. Plus, a local landmark is is interested in coming on board to give us great visibility. That provides the money to do all of this. You help me by going on Kickstarter, watching the video, donating, and sharing that link maybe on your Facebook page. Or you could start a fan page on Facebook. Copy that link, put it on the fan page, tell your friends about it, and then you can copy it and send it to at CNY Jeff Matthews. You get it? At CNY Jeff Matthews on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr if you're following me. It's a great way to spread the word about CNY Weathertainment. Next day you need the umbrella, Monday. By the way, this hasn't changed. I didn't touch a thing here except for the third one. Record-breaking warmth for Sunday and Monday. I had to change the third one because the days change. 11 days till the solstice, 13 until Christmas. Crazy mild. Average high, 34. Forecast for Saturday, Sunday, 50s, wow, 63 for Monday still, now I told you weeks ago, it looked like it'd be record warmth this weekend, it'll be breezy Sunday, windy Monday, breezy Tuesday, Tuesday's high will occur early and fall, but it'll recover Wednesday, here's another thing I told you about a week ago, it looks like around the 18th, 19th, and 20th, temps will plummet, a serious Arctic outbreak, and there may be one shot for snow between the 20th and the 25th. Look what happens on Friday the 18th. What did I say? 18th, 19th, or 20th. Boom! Is it the voodoo? This is why I tell you, I'm the most accurate meteorologist you're ever going to find. This front came out of Canada Friday night. Slips southwards, that high coming from Canada, not that cold though, means a slight drop in temperatures. But as that high moves to the coast, it joins forces with that one that brought us the warmth for Friday. And the circulation around both of them, grab that warm front, see the winds this way, when that one gets there, this way, and circulate that warm front right on back through your backyard and mine. You can already see the snow here lifting northwards, so that high is already pushing back here. But when the high here goes over the coast and joins it, all of that warm floods the eastern seaboard. So, there's the high, slightly cooler, behind the cool front from Friday night, but still partly sunny, a lot of high, thin cirrus clouds because of this impending warm front, which glides through Saturday evening and Sunday, brings the warmer temperatures for Sunday into Monday, even warmer than today's, or rather Friday's high, which was off the charts. And I've been telling you for days that if I'm going to be wrong on the forecast high, and I was a little off on 55, it would be warmer, not colder than I said. So, that's a check of your forecast. We'll come back with the details in just a moment. Poof. Hi, I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews, and I have a concept to take TV weather to a place where no man has gone before. It's an idea that I began in the spring of 2015, and now I'm at the point where I need you to come on board to help me take it to a whole new level not seen before. But first, let me explain. Your Eyewitness News High Definition Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Matthews. I've been an on-camera meteorologist for over 20 years, and one of my greatest frustrations has been newsroom managers who feel the need to interject their own personal perspective on the day's news or weather. 
things like sweep stunts or overhyping snowstorms? Or how about now naming snowstorms? Anything to try to get you to watch. Well, that's just not my style. I have three goals that I accomplish every time I'm on the air for the past 20 years and now with my new venture. One is to give you the most accurate forecast you can find. Number two is an educational component that you're not going to find anywhere else where I teach you something you didn't know about weather before. And lastly, number three is to make you smile or laugh at least once during my weather casts. And my perspective on weather is to get excited on the calm days, but calm down on the exciting ones. Which brings me to you. In order to bring this to a whole new level not seen before, I need you to come on board to help me get there. Right now, it's impossible to show you the finished project, but let me show you the raw space and give you an idea of what this will look like. We are about to acquire a huge space on the floor of a local children's museum, whereby we can be a living exhibit of both science and weather, two of my fortes. All that's needed is a board of directors vote that's now pretty much a foregone conclusion. The space would quickly and easily be converted into my daily studio with a functioning green screen, multiple cameras, several weather exhibits, and on the roof, a weather observation station and tower camera. I already possess the green screen and about half the lighting, but I need funding to purchase a professional camera, a green screen switcher, an editor, and merchandising materials like weather entertainment t-shirts, hats, and umbrellas which I'll happily share with you for your donation. It would be well worth it, wouldn't it, to have people who are willing to put their money where my mouth is also wearing my swag to advertise the product, thereby increasing the bang for your buck. So that's a sneak peek into my vision for weathertainment. But at this point, we need you to come on board to take this to a whole new level together. So I appreciate your time and consideration. We hope to come on board for our venture. Thank you. Forecast for Saturday, partly sunny and mild, partly because of those mare's tails. Light wind, high about 52, that's still way mild, by 18 degrees over the average. But it's cooler than Friday was. Then Saturday night, partly cloudy, low around 40. Be on the lookout. Jamminted meteor showers are going on. You can find out more on cmyweathertainment.com. Go to the bottom of your screen and watch the categories scroll by until you get to the astronomy category. Click it. And you'll enjoy finding out about the geminid meteor showers. Not that cold for Saturday night at 40. And then Sunday, 56. Now, it's going to be a mostly cloudy day, but you'll see the sun's disk through those high clouds. So it won't be that blue of a sky, but you'll be able to see the sun's disk, and it's going to be mild, crazy mild, 56. Now, Monday, it gets even more crazy, 63, record-breaking. Rain Monday afternoon and evening. There could be some leftover showers Tuesday. And then look what happens by the time we get to Friday. That rain on Thursday may go over to wet snow showers by Friday. That's your weekend weather forecast. Have a great weekend.